Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Yes, bro.
brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel that she's around, coming after me. It's scary. <laughs> Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen. We're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? Sort of. We did a lot of... illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but... We'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah, I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? They, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's back this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But, if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very funny. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. <laughs> T 
Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, man. I do look like a mighty superhero. That's so cool. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. My back hurts a little. Yo, Captain Cam, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Activate flashlight. And no funny business. Of course not. On the way. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. I wish we saw my falling stars. Or any. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for taking a piss when the only one fell. Ugh. You could have warned me quicker. At least we got to see Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah. These guys are real cool. Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. Uh, where were we? Hell yeah, you're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here, not hide it. Yeah, Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Hmm. I think she's in denial. What do you mean? Karen... kind of acts like you don't have a power. Maybe she doesn't want to believe it. I don't get it. I hear you. Oh, shit. 
Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> there you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. She's really good at rewriting her own life. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace.
Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. I totally forgot about that key. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Brody's so good at describing painful si I miss you too, sis. Hope we can take some new pictures someday. Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Must pay better than poetry. Karen letting us invade her space. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. Ugh. Wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Karen taught me some cool off the grid shit. Dude. We could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yes. Then I could be Zomboy fighting vampires. Sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Hmm. <laughs>
Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. It's nothing special compared to what he has. Well, what he has is some next level sci fi shit, Sean. You can't compare yourself to him. None of us can. But what you have is a precious gift that will guide you through this cosmogonic mess. If you let it. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay, Daniel, can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Hey. Can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? See, Sean. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Sweet. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. see where you're going with this. Clever. Uh, where's he going? Sean is about to show you, Daniel. 
keep watching. Just like half a turn. Totally. <laughs> Okay, how about turning that pancake head? There he goes! Now, let's throw on that spider. Check it out! <laughs> Yo! Can you turn that, that, um, uh, spider thingy around? Watch this. I feel like we're almost done. <laughs> well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Oh, yeah. It's super cool. Thanks for listening to me, Sean. It's exactly what I wanted. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want. Yeah, you hate it. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, hey, I miss those bus trips with Lila and the guys. What's the story with this one? Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. <laughs> Looking at this place. Now that's some real patriots. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. Morning. Huh. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. I sure wish we had him around now. He was a good guy. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleep over in the canyon? Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come 
visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years, until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Oscar and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Super Wolf to Professor D. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10-4. Okay, you're on an anno. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's better. That's... You're Run cool. away from away. You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking Mom's trailer. It's outside. Way cold. Getting closer. You're totally frozen. You're warming up. Warm? No. As cold as ever. Getting warm? Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in. With no cars. Love the energy out here. With building stuff as they please. Warm. Getting closer. A 
middle zone. Not too far. You're lost, Sean. Now you're totally frozen. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. Warm. Nope. As cold as ever. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. Not too far. <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Hey, what's up? Um, I was just wondering if you saw Daniel hide something around here. Our lips are sealed. Nope. For now. As cold as ever. Getting closer. These guys are like so actors here. I still love to party. Getting warm. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Oh, it's bug. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for 
Uh-huh. Sure. Warm. You're warming up. Not too far. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Warm. Oh, man. You're right there. Just look around. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now just match up to the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Oh hoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. Now Excuse me. Water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? Oh yeah, we can grow a lot of stuff there. You're warm! Dude, you're on fire! Get back! Way cold! You're way out there, dude! Getting closer! This part of town is dead this time of year. You're lost, I should son. stay around here. Guess people came here with ease and never left. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal.
You asked for it. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Gotta empty that truck. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Hey. Hey, what's up? Glad to see you survived hey. the night Good morning. in the desert. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. <laughs> hey, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah. Not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. <sighs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But... You trained him well. He's a good kid. Thanks. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> Before her mom died, we never got along. She was angry. I was stupid. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. 
I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <sighs> this place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. I couldn't live here for too long. It feels... Uh, disconnected. Maybe I'm too young. <laughs> Oh, I understand. It's not a starting point. It's more a place to sit back and let go. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then.
should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man, I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> Slow down, Mom! You walk too fast! More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. out here. The Wolf Brothers can't be trapped. You help us. You must hike all the time. There's not a lot to do, but that's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. <sighs> I love to come here to get away from... Away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. You actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. I know. This is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. And where you're going. Karen, be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> you made it this far, going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But, I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well. Figures. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That 
That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe, a uh, five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm going to give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom, you'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, <laughs> no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. 
or sun. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but still, here it goes. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. I'm sorry for getting you into trouble. You've done your best for us. And don't deserve what's coming. We'll make up for it. One day. Once the dust has settled. Take care. And talk soon. Sean. Looks like they all finally found their home. Karen won't have to share her space anymore. But maybe she'll feel kind of alone. Should go see what David wants now. <laughs> 